Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here with another fun-filled week of science and I'm so excited for you to join us today. Now this week we're going to begin learning something about something new. And we're going to begin learning about matter and its properties and finding out more about the world around us. Okay, so we're going to look very closely at our surroundings and figure out how they come together, what they're made of, and how we can describe them. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our story here. And our book is called Solids and Liquids. And we're going to read a story today called Everything Matters. Now the world is made up of many things. Trees, bubbles, slides, and drinking fountains are just some of them. These things may all seem very different, but in one way, they're all the same. They're all matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. So now that we know that, are you matter? Am I matter? How about this pen? Anything that takes up space is matter. Matter can be divided into three groups, solids, liquids, and gases. The slide is a solid, flowing water is a liquid. Bubbles are filled with air. Air is a gas. How did the gas get into the bubble? What happens if you touch a bubble? We use solids and liquids all the time. Every solid and liquid is different, so they are useful in different ways. Cement bricks are strong and hard. They are just right for building walls. Wool is soft and flexible. It is good for hats and scarves. Okay, so even though both cement bricks and hats and scarves are solids, they're very different and they do different things. Water is easy to spray and splash. It makes us a hot summer day lots of fun. Look around you for solids and liquids. found a couple They're sitting right on the table here. How will you use them today? I believe that's the end of our story. Yep, that's the end of our story. So anything that takes up space is matter. Okay, so that's one word we should keep in our in our brain bank of vocabulary words. Matter anything that takes up space. So look around you and see anything on the table. Find something on the table around you. It is matter. Now think about how you are going to use that item or how it is used in general. Okay. What do you use it for? What is its purpose? Does it provide you with something to drink? So would this be a solid or would this water bottle be a solid or liquid? The answer is yes, right? The bottle itself is a solid, but if I have iced tea inside of it, that is going to be a liquid, right? especially since I can drink it, and I made it with water. Okay, so think of those things today, and then tell me what you learned about matter today in your Seesaw slide, okay? I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.